Hey YouTubers, I'm gonna do something I don't do often, a tour of somebody else's RV. The backstory is, after I saw what is one of my favorite RVs anywhere, I found out it was owned by an awesome couple who happened to watch my channel. They agreed to give me a tour of it, which again, I almost never asked for. Then we decided to try to do a quick video for others. You'd have a really hard time finding people that love their RV more than they love this one. And it looks brand new. So even though this one may never be for sale, this video may help those on an RV search. As I said in the title, this is a Coach House Platinum XL. It's a 2007 model built on a 2006 Ford E450. It has levelers, which we'll show again. It's got 30 amp service, and we'll go over some of the details of the RV. Again, you get a battery bay. It has a good size inverter inside. It has an Onan 4000 watt generator. Storage bay for your water hose. It's just a beautiful RV. You can see the whole, that all that stuff is on the passenger side of the RV. Nice size awning on it, which is really nice. I have no plans, but if I ever had to replace my RV, I think this is what I would shoot for myself. There's the furnace. This is the back end of the RV with the spare tire cover off. He told me that these are pretty much handmade by Coach House down in Florida. They make about 50 a year and the build quality is really pretty high. This is where you connect the hose of grossness to get rid of that stuff. This area has the propane fill and has air ride fill as well as some other levers that I don't know. That's where you store the power cord, 30 amp. And there's a nice storage bin for chairs, kind of long. And again, all that stuff I just showed you is on the driver's side of the RV. And that's where you store the hose of grossness, as I like to call them. For an RV its size, it gets pretty good gas mileage. That's where you put the go-go juice. And it has an outside shower, which always comes in handy. Again, it has everything that an RV has. It's just much better built. I would choose one over a Class C any day. It has dualies, so that'll make it track better and a stable ride. Here's a spec sheet for it. Basically, it's 27 feet long. 10 feet, seven and a half inches tall, and here's all the capacities of all the stuff you might want to watch. So it's worth a pause. Now let's go inside and take a look at what a lot of people like to see. They started off having it in day mode with the sofa in, and I'll tell you this, the furniture is very comfortable to sit on, both the sofa and the chairs. Then they moved it to night mode with the bed out. You can also sleep in this with the slide in, so that's very important if you're traveling some places. And setting up the bed was very simple and those chairs, again, really comfortable. Which RVers know isn't always the case. Had a really nice spice cabinet, slide in and out. Another cabinet next to it with a lot of storage. Very good storage, very well designed, laid out. Again, just a great RV. This is the cockpit or the driver's area. Again, on the Ford E450. They both said it drives very easy and it's got plenty of power. This is it set up at night with the window curtain in place. TV in the front of the RV, up above the driver's area. Fantastic vent fan. The AC unit is ducked in the ceiling and an awesome, awesome make me jealous kitchen area. Look at that counter space. To me, this is the epitome of why you buy a used RV. This one is well made. It's gonna last a really long time if you take care of it and the value is just phenomenal. Go price a brand new one of these and then look what you can get a used one for. And for me, as always, a big refrigerator that gives me refrigerator envy. <laughs> the bathroom is located in the back of the RV. It's quite large with a very large shower, as good as any Class C you're gonna find. But again, there's that kitchen. <laughs> I get kitchen envy. And seriously, this one looks brand new. It comes with a convection oven and the stove fan has the control panel for all the mechanicals. Like all of us, they figured out tricks for their RV. If you're tall, you could hit your head on the cabinets when getting out of the sofa. So this clever idea protects their noggins. It has beautiful cabinetry with the push button locks. Just very nice. This RV is 
kind of plush and just very comfortable. Has really nice flooring, and as I hinted before, now I'll show you the levelers, which are awesome to have. Sweet. Now I love, love, love my 99 Leisure Travel and have no intention to trade and rarely look at other RVs. But I think these coach houses, this one being a 2007, they give me a little bit of RV envy. So if you're searching for B+, which might be a better option for many than a Class C, I hope I did some justice to these excellent RVs. I also hope this was helpful and you have a great and wonderful day.